Morning all. Had a really good kip in my lovely lay-by. Nice and flat. Not too much disturbance from the vehicles whizzing by just the other side of the hedge. So I shall, uh, I shall show you around the, the garden in a little while. First I'm going to try and... No, I'm not going to try and wake up. Oh, bollocks. I'm about to get my coffee going. But we're going to have a treat this morning because it's horrible out there. Still, we're going to have a choc chip pancake. Oh, lovely. In the old ridge monkey. Right, got it all done. So I've got the water in, up to the fill line. Now I've just got to give it a bit of the old wrist action before my batter's ready to come out. You know how quick the jet boil is. This is already going. I've only got it on sort of half heat. Look at that, it's bubbling up beautiful. I haven't mixed it too thick. So we'll leave it a few more minutes. Turn it. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. All jet boils ready. Time for coffee. Well, would you look at that? Gorgeous, huh? Looks more like a crumpet, to be fair. A little bit of Clark syrup on there. That is going to taste absolutely fantastic, I reckon. Now, the reason I'm not putting this on a plate, which is a mistake, because this will go everywhere once it melts through like a crumpet, is that uh, yesterday I didn't clip down my drawer. So as I came around a roundabout, to go somewhere that I didn't want to go, because it was the wrong, wrong roundabout, I ended up um, the drawer on the floor, and one of my two massive big pasta bowls broken. The uh, second one survived, but of course that's that's in the fridge full of crab. But I'm going to crack on with this now because it looks gorgeous. So these are my salubrious surroundings for last night. A lay-by with a hedge. And if I look through this gap. That's the traffic. So just like Santa Monica Boulevard, the sun has come up. So I'm going to head off and drive through Cornwall. Next stop, the Lizard. Well, unless I stop before, obviously, for a little while. But I'm headed for the Lizard and the most southerly point of the United Kingdom, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, mainland. I'm actually now in Cornwall and it's sunny. On the Atlantic Highway. There you go. What a fantastic sounding road name. The Atlantic Highway. Well, let's see if Cornwall's as lovely as everybody reckons. Right, that lasted all of five minutes. As you can see, we've got some crappy weather again. This is Cornwall for you. The main UK holiday destination for the summer. Well, you don't know I'm coming. But my adopted fishing son, Liam, works here. And I think that's his hobby at the front there. Is that because he's getting it ready to uh, come fishing with me? Let's go ring the bell. It's a good diversion because I can uh, fill up my water can and wash out my pot. It's fantastic. So here we go, I'm at, at Cornell Canoes. I was like just driving along, saw. Uh, I saw St. Colum Road and I thought, yep. I know where that is, so 10 miles short of here. I thought, where's Cornwall Canoes then? Found out and thought, right, I'll pop in. So, yeah, here's Liam, my my, my adopted son. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be on the RTM team yeah. with me. So, Liam, how's, how's this year going? Yeah, it's really good, yeah, very busy in the shop. Lots of people taking up kite fishing. So, yeah, but, Brilliant. What's, what sort of stuff are you catching at the minute? Uh, at the minute it's tope time, so we're catching lots of tope. Awesome. Uh, just coming shore, chasing the mackerel shoals, loads of mackerel about. But the pollock is starting on the reefs, the bass are turning up, so yeah, it's kicking off a little bit. That sounds good. Thursday then? Thursday. Let's come. Thursday. Let's see if we can get Chris up from Plymouth as well. <laughs> come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Get up here. <laughs> right. Well, nice one, Liam. I shall get yeah. out your hair now. Uh, I can't believe you still look exactly the same. 
I mean, it's unreal. You need to start eating meat, or at least pies. <laughs> All right, buddy. Great to see you. Yeah. Catch you later. I'm still heading for the lizard, and I'm starting to pass these old uh, chimneys. I don't know. I guess they're something to do with a mine shaft or something. Mine shaft instead of a mine shaft, which is a German thing. So yeah, quite quite interesting. Tin mines maybe. Royal Naval Air Station Cold Rose. We've got a nice big helicopter there, just ahead of me. I'm not sure if that's a Sea King or a Merlin or, or what. I don't know. It's Air Sea Rescue. Well, here I am at the Lizard, and a crab is making its second appearance in a crab sandwich. Just brought some nice wholemeal bread from Tesco in Truro and uh, mix the claw meat with a little bit of brown from the shell uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and a squeeze of lemon juice so uh, I'm looking forward to this A bean posh crab B bean posh national trust place I've cut the sandwich into quarters but look at that that's deep fill man, that's deep fill well that's it, that's as far south as I can go, Lizard Point, this is the most southerly bit I can access, so uh, I'll see you up north, eventually. Well, it doesn't look foggy to me. Glad I'm not on shift. So here I am, deepest, darkest Cornwall, or Kerno, as they spell it. Driving around, giving weight to everybody. This apparently is my fastest route to Porth Kerris. There you go, that's the widest bit of roads I've uh, met somebody on so far. Where are we going to go? We're going to turn left here. Hopefully this will be a little bit more open. It's very pretty. There's even bamboo growing in edge rows, you know. Here we go. I'm going down to Porth Keras Divers. In Porth Keras. To dive. Obviously. Um, oh, yeah. It's looking nice and flat, actually. Nice and sheltered. Get air fills here. Interesting wooden boat there. Ain't going on there. Right, UK's premier diving centre. Cars, three pound. Shore dive, five pound per dive. What? I've got to pay to dive? Taking piss on me. Take nothing but photos. Oh, what? No compressed motion, that's in the land of shellfish. This is actually my first dive in Cornwall, so let's go straight in and see what we've been missing. Here's my spare rig today. Just make sure it's functioning properly.
And I've actually paid to stay here the night. Basically, it's five pound for a shore dive, three pound for parking, so that's eight quid. Well, I figure fifteen quid for camping to include the diving and the parking, fishing if you want, kayaking if you want. I can do two dives. That's thirteen quid. That'll save me driving around trying to find somewhere. So this is my my position for tonight. I've got. Uh, all my gear hanging up to dry because I've just had a dive. Uh, the Atlantic is rather cold, 13 degrees. Wasn't expecting that. I did actually get cold. 65 minutes I managed to hang out for. So straight down here. So you've got uh, a rope to hold on to to go down. Nice, gentle, easy entry on pebbles. Not far to walk. And then out and swimming around these rocks here these reefs and as you'll see from the video it's a pretty cool little dive the bay is quite nice it goes around to there I did think about staying there but I reckon I'm gonna have a pretty cool night this is a old Ministry of Defence building I don't know what they've got in there but never mind and I've got a nice little cable drum table here. So, I'm now, without further ado, going to sit down in my big old sofa here, write up my logbook, and then start editing the video. And then eat the rest of that crab. Cheers and all that.